Oh my god, it's been so long since I did anything related to this. Where am I? What am I supposed to be doing? I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I have no idea why I'm in there. I'm going to uh, but run off towards this dot on the map where I'm assuming that's uh, where what the boat is or something like that. Airship, boat, whatever it happens to be. Alright, let's see, where am I going? I feel guilty simply sitting around like this. We all need rest, my dear. Whatever we're to face next, let us do it with a full store of energy. Besides, I'm told exhaustion is murder on the skin. Think of your complexion. I... my what? Try to behave, bring a bell. You're upsetting the poor girl. Hmm, is that a hint of jealousy I detect? Perhaps it's you who's upset by... <laughs> You're hilarious! I can think of no sadder creature in this world than a man unable to inspire a little jealousy. It is. For now, I need some air. All this riding on the waves is... <clears throat> Do you suppose he's all right? He is never oh, all right. Leave him. A little seasickness will keep him quiet. Anyas, do you know the other Vestals? In your speech, you mentioned working with them. Oh. It is my hope that such a collaboration can be achieved, but I have yet to meet the Vestals of Earth or Fire. I know only the Water Vestal, Olivia. I have since we were children, as our temples stand in neighboring kingdoms. Since we became Vestals in full, we've exchanged no correspondence, but... I fear the rotting of the seas is proof enough that some ill has befallen the water crystal. I pray that Olivia has fared better. That was fast. Feeling better? Vessel of the Wind Crystal, Agnes Oblige. Surrender at once, or see your companion slain. You! Dark Knight Alternus Dim! Who? What? Idea! You're all right. We've been mad with worry. But you are a captive to the Vestal no longer. Come, I will see she makes no move. Quickly, to my side. Come away from the Vestal. No, you keep away from him! If you intend to hurt Anyas or Tiz, he'll answer to me for it. What? What madness is this? You speak nonsense! I'm not her captive, and she poses no threat. I'm here of my own free will. What then? You betrayed the duchy? Betrayed your father? Have you lost your mind, girl? I'm entirely sane. In fact, there's much I've only begun to see clearly now that I've gone traitor. No more of this! Idea, bind the Vestal's hands. Do this now, and I'll forget all you said here. Please. It seems you've already forgotten. I said no, Alternus. What new form of torment is this? I cannot bear these games, Adia. Do not do this to me. Take one step closer to Anyas and I'll do a lot worse. This is my decision. I'll hold nothing back. I may not be able to best you even so, but I will see that you bleed before I die. You're certain, then? I'm certain. Silencing you would be a simple task, but one slip of my hand and even the flat of my blade would mean your end. I'm a poor hand at holding back. Then don't bother. I'm not the sort to be cowed by threats, Din. Perhaps I get that from my father. <laughs> I cannot keep this from your father. 
I ask once more, will you reconsider? My mind is set. Stubborn girl! You're... Very well. I shall withdraw for now. But know this, Vestal. You and your abettors are ever under our watch. What you aim to do runs counter to the flow of progress. You place mankind on the road to annihilation. I'll not allow you to go unchecked. It's time your wings were clipped. Yeah. Oh, the Sky Stone! Cool your head before we next meet, Nadia. wasn't much use back there if I'd been more you're safe that is all I ask Nadia who was that man he knew you he's a member of the Council of Six the Duchy of Eternia's highest governing body and the six people sending an army after Agnes your tone was familiar you were close? We grew up together. Rejoice, jolly companions. I found the loveliest seashells out there. Here, a gift from... <sighs> hmm? Did I miss something? Oh, you really are hopeless, Ringabel. Hmm? Well? No good, I'm afraid. She won't budge an inch off the ground. Seems we're earthbound until we've another one of these skystone things. Murderer! Blast that alternate! And me for not seeing this coming! But we can't sit and stew here. Hurry up and do something! If the ship's grounded, that leaves travel by foot. I suppose we'll have to try our luck with this forest and its miasma. Alright, if I recall, that was like... Someone's using GMS. Um, seven minute cutscene. Or if, if I've been watching the timestamps correctly anyway. Where am I going? I am going this way. And it looks like I gotta go in here. Alright, it has been seriously like a long time since I played this, so. Oh god, more cutscene or is this just gonna be the introduction? Miasma Woods. <laughs> I have seen that word pronounced so many different ways. Okay, I'll shut up now. But it's not. <coughs> not so dire that we can't manage another step. It may be perhaps that the return of the winds has thinned out the miasma forest. Whatever the cause, we'd best take advantage of it. If we can pass, let us do so now. was awakened, as they would have it put. Indeed. And worse, since its awakening, the crystal has been protected by a shield that bars all but the Vestal. You made contact with the girl, did you not? Why did you not capture her then? Were these infamous allies of hers really so strong as to cow even you, Dark Knight? They... no. Among those I saw accompanying the Vestal, one of them was Adia. My, my, my. This is a twist. Quite so. A shocking turn. So what then? 
you saw her, tucked your tail, and ran home crying? <laughs> How miserable! Still, if this is the truth, it is a troubling one. We look to you to lead all the Eternian forces, Lord Marshal. For your daughter into a bent, the Vestal is... problematic. How would you have us proceed? Any who would join the Vestal in opposing us must be eliminated. Their birth matters not. Ah, bold words. But how truthful, I wonder. You would really allow her elimination? Your Lordship! The task before us is larger than us all. I'll not allow private matters to slow its course. Then, I shall go and speak with her again. Surely. I will go. It seems the Water Vestal is proving a problem as well. I shall go and pluck the both of them. I expect a suitable shower of accolades upon my successful return. Come, Victor! As you command. Lord Marshal, are you certain of this? Alright, my god, this video has been mostly cutscene. What in the world is this? Oh, interesting. So there's like a, what was that, a wolf? Who's, um, selling me stuff now? Uh, I have all of these, so I don't especially need to buy any of that. Any good armor? I don't feel like looking through that. I've, I've sat through about 10 minutes of cutscene already, and I don't feel like looking through that. Alright, so... What in the... Oh, God. So, the way there is blind, this is gonna be, like... Poison, isn't it? I'm gonna leave this, uh, this scene in... This point now, because... It seems important. Oh, fun. Yeah, I might want to do that. I think I have a couple of antidotes right now, like ten of them. But, if I don't have all that many, I'm probably going to have to walk through uh, some of this at some point. So, let's see. Yeah, we're all poisoned. I have, uh, nine antidotes. Hmm, do I want to go, uh, back and get some more, or do I want to just... Eh, I've wasted enough time. I'll just go back and uh, get it over with. See you in a moment. Tiz has one HP. Alright, so I'm back. I'm not going to be running into that water this time. Fortunately, I don't want to say this too loudly, but fortunately so far it looks like that's going to be easier to avoid than those uh, things back in that other dungeon that would like blind you and stuff. Anyway, that looks like... I, I just finished saying it looks easier to avoid, and yeah. Oh wait, can I go around it? Maybe I can avoid it. Alright, that would be really nice, because I don't like having to... That was a pain. I have like 50 uh, antidotes, but that's a remedy. That's gonna be useful. I'm gonna heal. Anyway, let's see. This is where the, um, the map light thing is looking, so... Is there gonna be yet another cutscene, or okay, this is just going to be uh, an entry point? Alright, where was I? I do want to make this video longer than I have been making uh, some of the other ones, because there hasn't been an awful lot of uh, anything besides cutscene in here. So, let's see, that was a lot chest. Sooner or later, everyone in my party is gonna get a level up at the same time, and it's gonna be, like, funny. Anyway, let's see, I almost stepped in that poison. Which would've been bad. Well, I got one in there, let's see. I can walk through this and get poisoned. I didn't have to walk through it, but I did anyway, because I can see very well. And I was going to say, I want to go back here. Oh. In this case, I do have to walk through. Alright, Phoenix Dan obtained. Well, those will never be missed. Um, let's see. And uh, I probably don't want to go into Battle Poison, but first, I do want to see, like, what's done this way. And, alright, that's just going to be a shortcut back to the beginning. Yay, double level up. Alright, so now I went and healed, and if I can uh, be a little bit more careful about where I'm pushing on the D-pad now, or, um, rather circle pad controller thing. Anyway, it looks like there's a way out here, but it also looks like there's a lot of space in this map I haven't explored yet. 
I'll go deal with that later. Um, I guess on my way out, at least, I'll probably be able to um, come back and explore a little bit more. See, this is a rather narrow pathway through some uh, poison areas, so I want to be careful. I feel like I'm doing, I don't know. Some of these enemies here have a habit of uh, multiplying, and I'm getting a fair amount of experience off that, so I can't exactly complain. Anyway, this is an X potion, which is probably like the next tier up from the high potion. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I guess I want to go... Can I go down? There's something down there. Am I going to have to go through the, uh, the poison again? And it's not that I don't have like 55 uh, antidotes right now, but I kind of like to avoid using them if I can get away with it. And uh, yeah. So I got poisoned by an actual enemy this time. What's this? That is an earthling rod. Did I read that right? Earthling rod? Earthling rod. Interesting. Anyway. Let's see. Running around there. And running around here. And enough of that. Uh, as I was saying, I think this kind of reminds me of a uh, some place from a uh, Paper Mario Sticker Star for whatever reason. I guess it's the poison water. Um, it doesn't look like I can get up there without having to walk through something bad. Oh, it, actually I can. Okay. Then again, like uh, time versus um, like not getting into poison and stuff. Um, let's see. This is a high potion. Okay, I'm gonna need one of those. Screw the the, the poison, because I can do that. You know what? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, alright. So, being poison's fun. I'm gonna get rid of that now. I'm gonna burn through all those antidotes in a matter of minutes, aren't I? Alright. You there, adventurer guy. Cool. 